where now these companies feel like it's cancel culture time. You know what I'm saying? Like we, it's a liability to have someone like that associated with our business. Even if we've been dealing with this person for five plus years, it's a liability. So that's why Twitch isn't going to ban me because I didn't do anything on Twitch that's ban worthy. But they'll remove me from their partner program and say, we don't want to have any financial ties to this guy. You see? It's fucked up. I'm, I'm basically getting canceled. All right? Getting canceled for something that I did over a decade ago, acting like it's something that I did today. But these companies are fucking dumb. 8th of January 2022, DSP once again attempts to rewrite the past. Let's take a look at that past, shall we, and see if he was right. June 2014, the DMCA violation. Right, everyone, that is it for the final CT stream. This is way too fucking loud right now. And it's 10th of May 2015, threatening Quiet Connor and trying to get his fans to abuse him. I don't know if you can hear me not or not. I got a serious question for you. When you were playing Kingdom Hearts and your girlfriend insulted the game in the stream chat, why All did right. you put in the sub only mode? Enough of this. <laughs> you me, but I heard you insult me. Ah, you're a piece of shit. Who gives a fuck? Seriously. Here, you know what? There. There. I don't have to hear this moron. <laughs> oh, a complete idiot. Ladies and gentlemen, you have found the epitome of a loser on the internet. Find that man, find his fucking tag on PSN, and I give you permission to spam his fucking inbox with enough nonsense so that he never fucking is able to do anything ever again. Seriously. What an asshole. She's talking about... Be playing Kingdom Hearts 1. That was two years ago. He's asking the dumbest fucking question ever. What a complete idiot. <laughs> the guy had no fucking interest in playing the game. He just wants to waste everyone's time to bring stupid shit up from two years ago. That's, that is the kind of guy who I want to punch. 19th of August 2015. The Be Awesome 1 incident. Oh, by the way, I have your IP, I have your name, and I have your address. So, congratulations, you fucked up. You really did be awesome one on Twitter. I have all your fucking personal information. Yeah, how you doing, be awesome one over in Europe? How you doing? I have your name and address, so, you know, any day that I feel like making a trip across the pond, I'll come see you. <laughs> <laughs> it's really um, smart doing those false copyright claims against me and giving me your IP on my website. It was very smart. 1st of May 2016, The Incident. Wait a minute, this was from YouTube, not Twitch. Cause it's funny as fuck, who cares, it's a good laugh. What is up everyone? Hello, hello and welcome. Oh, the camera's on. The camera's been on the whole time, huh? I don't even know. Hello. 12th of June 2017. The abuse of I Justine at E3. Of course it's I Justine! Why wouldn't we get I Justine to be the host of this fucking gameplay segment of Battlefront 2? <laughs> Alright, I'm not dead, but I swear to god I wish I fucking was, because I Justine is the least pertinent person in this galaxy to be presenting Star Wars Battlefront 2, ladies and gentlemen. I Justine, nothing against her, because I don't know her personally, I don't watch her shit, alright? But she was one of this group of what's called bandwagon YouTubers, alright? I Justine is one of those fucking people. For whatever reason, publishers still bring her back every fucking year to E3 to present shit when she adds absolutely nothing but a pretty face. So when I hear I just fucking Steen is going to present Battlefront 2, I completely turn the fuck off. But EA didn't get the memo. Remember, EA has to be hip. We're cool. We're in tune with what you the gamer want. So we're going to get I just Steen because she's the hotness now, right? Oh my, seriously, it's like grandpa trying to relate to the to a youngster. It just blows my fucking mind, right? <clears throat> Unbelievable. 
22nd of October 2017, the war dog leader incident. It's just not a very healthy job. I'll be honest, you know, it was a lot healthier when I had someone to share this with and to make me healthy meals and everything, and all that's gone now, and now it's a lot tougher. Of course, now we gotta get someone in the stream chat who wants to turn their own personal uh, story into, you know, derailing the chat, and I'm not gonna put up with it, so I'm just gonna warn you right now, you know, War Dog Leader, there's no way for us to know if what you're saying in the stream chat is legitimate or not. You could be someone completely making stuff up, or you could be completely legitimate. Appreciate the sentiment and sorry to hear about a family member that passed away, but no one wants to hear you make this about how I'm in the wrong for being stressed in my life because you have a situation that's worse. Um, that's ridiculous. Go run your own stream if you want to do that. We don't, you know what I mean? Like he's trying to make me look like a villain because he says someone passed away and he's doing better than me. Wow. Well, good for you. Maybe you're a stronger human than me. Then Maybe you're a better person than me. Good for you. Go run your own stream and everyone could go watch it. This is my stream. People want to know why I wasn't here. And I'm being honest. Enough of this. No, I'm just sharing. I'm being honest with you about what's going on. And I'm not going to have someone come in here and I'll try to make me look fucking bad on a stream that's my gameplay stream that's for me to share my my what's going on with me with you. Oh, well, my life is worse than yours and I'm better than you. Well, good for fucking you. Go on your fucking pedestal. You know, go bronze yourself and make a fucking statue to your greatness because you can do better with meals when you have something worse than what's going on with me. Like, what the fuck? Seriously. Get the fuck out of here, man. That is so fucked up that people would do that. Go ahead. You know what? Officially, for tonight's stream, you are the king of suffering. <laughs> You're the king of suffering. Good for you. Thanks for coming in and making yourself, propped yourself up on my stream. We really needed that. Really. Unreal. Okay. And now War Dog has earned himself a ban because it's obvious either he's a troll or he's just someone who is just going to be here to derail everything and tough shit. Goodbye. Goodbye. Moron. I can't take it, you know? You know, so, alright, so I'm having a bad time, right? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to purposely find someone else's stream just to say how I'm having a worse time than them, but I'm doing better. Get the fuck out of here. Alright, so anyway, we're done with that shit. 24th of December 2017, the homophobic insults on his Twitch chat. Have fun and be entertaining. You watch him on Twitch, you don't watch him on YouTube anymore, right? YouTube is more about drama and bullshit. I want to watch a drama vlog. Then you go on YouTube. Ugh, I want to watch some faggot and insult some homo. You go on YouTube. <laughs> I want to watch some guy. Throw around all kinds of insulting slurs constantly. Well, you go to YouTube. 3rd of May 2018, the VR chat incident. You're 11? Yes. And your parents bought you a gaming PC? What's wrong with this picture? <laughs> Probably because I'm part of wolf. You click on it, just so you know. You click on it. Ah, oh. good. Now I'm away from that annoying fucking bitch of a kid who I would have slapped in real fucking life if they talked to me like that. <laughs> I would have fucking pimp slapped that shit out of that. <laughs> what the fuck? Anyway. So it seems to me that Twitch had plenty of reasons and, op and opportunities to get rid of your ass DSP. So the fact that you're trying to say that you're being banned and cancelled for one thing ten years ago doesn't really hold much fucking weight. The fact of the matter is that you were a partner on Twitch, and then you're still you're still not banned on Twitch. By the way, you are on Twitch. Just, you just can't be a partner anymore because at times you were protected by somebody for breaking these rules and violating these rules. You got away with it because of that protection of being a partner. Do not cry in fucking innocent when you've done so much to get you banned on Twitch and yet you had a hand protecting you the whole time, protecting you, shielding you from being banned for breaking the rules over and over again. Accept responsibility, look at the evidence in front of you and move the fuck on. You're like a fucking jilted ex at this point.